it seems very easy to combine two normal map together here we have two normal map one is the rock normal map and this is a kind of fabric type normal map we want to combine them and achieve this result even we want to control the amount of the blending and even be able to reverse the effect of one of them this is my empty shader i define two uniform one for the base normal map and one for detail normal map then i assign rock normal map to base and fabric normal map to detail down here i create two vector tree one for base and one for detail let me just scale a little bit our normals I just increase a little bit normal depth so you'll be able to see everything better okay very good now I want to combine these two normal map well the most simple method is just by linear interpolate between two normal map let's do that with mix function I just define a float uniform to be able to control the blend amount it's kind of work, but this is not good. That is because normal map are not colors. If you use mix function for color values like albedo texture, that is okay, but not for normal map. But I'm not saying that this method is completely useless. There are some situation when you can use this cheap method. I personally use this when I want that detail normal map completely cover some part of the base normal map, but we want a better result. So as I told you, normal map are vectors. What if I use vector add operation for this? Could that solve our problem? To do that, here I create a function which is called add normal map. This function takes two parameters. One is the base normal map and one is detail normal map, which is named here B and D. Okay, what we have here is these two normal map image. Each pixel of this normal map have three components red green and blue and these components represent x y and z component of normal vector but each pixel of this normal map images can have a value between 0 and 1 but x y and z component of the normal map vectors can have the value between minus 1 and 1 so when the blender or other program generate these normal map images they pack the value of them into a range between 0 and 1 so here we should unpack them. The way we do that is just by multiplying them by two and subtract one from them. Now we have our normal vectors. Let's add them together. Now before we return them, we should pack them again because normal map in fragment function accept normal map images, which the value of them is between zero and one. And we do that this way. I hope you understand this. Well, now let's use this to generate our normal map. We have better result compared to previous method. This is previous method and this is the current method. But still, this is not accurate method to combine normal map. Now, first, I'm going to show you how you can obtain the most accurate result then, because this method is expensive, I'm going to show you other approximated methods which are less expensive. So to be able to create the most accurate result, let us see how normal map works. This is our sphere and each point on our sphere has a normal vector which is perpendicular to the surface of the sphere on that point. Let me show you only one of them. Godot engine is going to use this normal vector to calculate the light on that point. Now we provide normal map for this sphere. So this time at each point we have a new normal vector based on this normal map texture. The thing is that we are not going to throw away the original normal vector. Basically the new normal vector provide detail to original normal vector. So what we do now, we should create two other vector which are perpendicular to original normal vector like this. These two vectors are called tangent and binormal. Here we have created a coordinate system. This coordinate system is called tangent space. And this coordinate system will change for each point on a sphere like this. Now we put the vector that is provided to us by normal map into this space. 
So here go that engine instead of original normal vector, it used this new normal vector to calculate light effect for us. And if the new vector has the up direction like this, so new normal vector and old normal vector are same and nothing will change. To prove that to you, here let me delete this and put the up direction normal into this. But please note, we provide the image value which are between 0 and 1 to normal map. So the image value of up vector is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 1. As you can see, we have our original sphere back and I just provide a flat normal map to it. Remember this because this is really important and we are going to use that later. Okay, now we want to add another normal map on top of the first normal map. This time, because we know how normal map works, it is really easy to do that. Now first, we apply the first normal map and we obtain new normals like this. As you can see, we have a new normal vector which is rotated a little bit. And here we create another tangent space and we create the second normal vector based on new generated normal vector. I won't go into the mass of this by detail. I just show you the formula. Okay, this is called Unity Blending Method because first time it was introduced in GDC by Unity Tech Demo. So as you can see here, we just created normal vectors. Then here we created a three by three matrix, which the first two components of this matrix are two perpendicular vector to base normal. And the third one is the base normal vector itself. So this matrix is our basis of our new coordinate system. Just multiply that to detail normal vector, normalize that, then pack that into value between zero and one again, finally return that. Okay, let's take a look at this result. You can see that this result is really, really accurate, but it is a little bit expensive. And by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can change the blend amount of the detail normal map. Well, next we have this formula, which is calculated in a little bit different way, but it has the same concept. This formula is a little bit less expensive compared to the previous method. Well, now let's see some of the simpler method. These methods are less expensive and they also give good and acceptable result. Anyway, if you want, you can pause this video at any point and copy these codes. This method is called white out method. Here I just add X and Y component of two normal map together. And then I multiply the Z component together. Normalize that and repack that. For the next method, we have UDN method. This method first time is proposed in Unreal Developer Network. This is exactly just like previous method, but we add only the Z component of the base normal. If you don't normalize this, you will have less quality, but you can reduce this to only one line of code like this. This will also work. And at last, we have the simple method. In this method, just add X and Y component of two normal map and put the Z value to one. This is the cheapest method. You can reduce this method to this by doing some mass calculation. Okay, now how we can change the blending amount. So do you remember that I told you if the new normal map is in up direction, it is a flat normal map and it will not affect anything. So I just go to the unity blending method and here I blend the detailed normal map with the flat normal map with the mix ratio of blending amount. And this will work for all of the blending method that I told you. So here I can change that blending amount from 0 to 1. I also can go above 1. In the same way, I can go below 0. So this is the way that we combine normal maps. And I hope you like this video. Till the next video. Bye.